word which, and the word which God sent to the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That word I say you know, which was published throughout all Judea and began to go from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power dunamis, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, who they slew and hanged on a tree. God, how him God raised up the third day and showed openly, he showed openly, not all, not to all people, but to, un, but to un witnesses chosen before of God, even to us. You see, Jesus walked with them 40 days after he rose from the dead. Yeah. And he appeared to them different ones. Now, Paul said that he appeared to like over 500 people at one time that saw him. At one time after he rose from the dead. Who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that he is that he which was ordained of God to be judge of the quick living and the dead. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name whosoever, say whosoever. Who's saying something? Whosoever surely meaneth me, surely meaneth me, oh surely meaneth me. Whosoever surely meaneth me, whosoever meaneth me. You see, whosoever means whosoever. Amen. It means any person. Amen. Any person. Amen. Whosoever. Hallelujah. Believeth in him shall receive remission of sins or forgiveness of sins. Thank you, Lord. While Peter yet spake these words, while he's still speaking to them, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. You see, they got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost all at once. That's kind of like Gil got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost all at once. That's pretty cool, I think. Amen. So they received Christ, and God filled them with the Holy Ghost all at once. Yeah. Amen. And they of the circumcision, that's the Jewish believers that were with Peter, which believed were astonished. They were astonished. These Gentiles, these wicked Gentiles, God filled with the Holy Ghost just like we did on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Thank you, Lord. They were astonished as many as came with Peter. Because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnified God. Then answered Peter and said, Can any man forbid water as he should not be baptized? Talking about water baptism. Which have received the Holy Ghost as we have. And he commanded them to be baptized in water in the name of the Lord. That's the name of the Jesus. And they pray, prayed him to tarry a few days. And see, like water baptism, we will baptize people in water, but water baptism doesn't take your sins away. Only Christ in us takes Amen. our sins away. Thank you, Lord. Our baptism or our immersion into Jesus Christ is what delivers us and sets us free and makes us whole. I personally got, I got saved when I was about eight or nine years old. I got filled with the Holy Ghost when I was 12 years old. I got called into ministry when I was 14 years old. I was moving in the gifts of the Spirit when I was 15 and 16 years old. I got baptized in water when I was 17 or 18 years old. <laughs> I was already moving in the gifts of the Holy Ghost before I ever got baptized in water. I was already saved and filled with the Holy Ghost before I got baptized in water. These guys were saved and filled with the Holy Ghost before they ever got baptized in water. That's water right. baptism... It, it represents what Christ would do for you. Yes. Amen. And represents what, what he has done for you. Stephen, Philip, preached to the Ethiopian eunuch and led him to the Lord through the Old Testament. That's all the scriptures they had back then was the Old Testament scriptures. The New Testament hadn't been written yet. So he led, he led the Ethiopian eunuch to Christ. And the Ethiopian you said, well, there's a bunch of water. Can I get baptized? He said, do you really believe in your heart that you can be baptized? You see, it's not, it's not water that water baptism that does anything to us. It's our immersion into Christ that makes us whole. Water baptism just represents our immersion into Christ, what Christ did for us. You see, he died so the old man of sin could be dead and buried in the grave. That's what water baptism represents. When you go under the water. 
Then you're raised up out of the water. That represents you being raised up together with him in newness of life. That's what water baptism Lord, represents. Yes, Lord. And so that's like all through the book of Acts everywhere. I kind of getting off track there. But our mission in the church is to reach every soul for Christ. All people, no matter what color they are. I don't, you know, I, I'm not particular. I mean, I'd love to have a bunch of black people in this church. Uh, we've had a few black people in the church, but I'd love to have a lot of black people in the church. Because everybody, God cares about everybody. God cares about everybody. Everybody God cares about. Amen. Jesus died for everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus loves us. He loves the whole world. We should be reaching out to win souls for Christ. We should be reaching out with the gospel. Amen. Now, I can't make somebody receive, but I can share the gospel as Amen. the Lord leads me to, as he opens doors. But like a lot of times we go out on the street ministry, and we go out there, and, and Steve can tell you we go out, but we had these wooden crosses that we give out to people. And I, don't, I, I, I lost mine somewhere, but I think I can give it to somebody. But anyhow, we have these wooden crosses that we give out. And, and then we've asked if we'd like, they'd like prayer. About 80% of the people who take the cross will take prayer. Praise God. About 80%. So about 80% of the people you ask take the cross. Yes. So that's a high percent of the people we get to pray for. And then, we, and then I'll say, what would you like prayer for? No, tell me now. Now, sometimes they'll tell me they want to get right with God. That's a good time. Yes. Sometimes they want to tell me, that, you know, they they just want to get rich or something. <laughs> I'll pray for that. Then I'll pray for them to get right with God. Because <laughs> once I'm praying, I can pray whatever I want to. That's you know? right. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. God's good. But we we really need to be doing those kind of things. I mean, I mean, I, that's just one way to. The thing is, that's a great way to do that. And we, we, we actually support the, the guy who makes the crosses monthly on a monthly basis. So we, we do that. But, but God's might, we just need to be reaching out to this lost and dying world. Amen. We need to be reaching out to the world. Because outreach is what the whole mission of the, of the gospel is about. Yes, Going to all the world and preach the gospel to all flesh, to everybody. Everybody. Tell them what the word says. Because faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. We, we need to be active, though, and we need to be discipling people. That's why we have different classes to disciple people. So they can grow up to do the same things. That's why we lead by example. So they can learn by seeing leaders do these kind of things. And so we're trying to do that. I mean, that's, just always, that's always been my heart, to, to reach souls for Christ. Everywhere I've ever went. That's all I've always tried to do. Lord. Even in the jobs I've had, I've always tried to win souls for Christ. And I've been led by the Spirit to do it. Thank and sometimes you. I've not understood things. Like one time I was driving a semi-truck and we had a, 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 I was driving a team operation and I got to the terminal off another run and when I got there like at 6 o'clock in the evening, the other driver was supposed to be there because I've been driving. So I was tired. Another driver was supposed to start driving. He was supposed to be there, but he wasn't there. We were supposed to take a load straight down to Dallas and unload. Our unload time was like 5 in the morning, so we really needed to leave at 6 in the evening to get down there yep. by 5 in the morning. And so, but the guy wasn't show, he didn't show up. He showed up at midnight, and he was drunk. He showed up drunk at midnight, and uh, he couldn't drive. So here I had to drive down to Dallas. I didn't get there till like 11 o'clock in the morning. We passed our, our delivery time. So when you pass your delivery time, then you have to wait till there's just an open time. So we had to wait till about 2 in the afternoon to be able to start unloading. And this guy was the most filthy mouth guy you've ever heard in your life. I mean, I, th I said, God, why in the world did you put me with this guy? He's a drunkard and he's a filthy mouth guy. And, and I, I was complaining to God, you know, and just went under my breath, you know. So anyhow, so we get down there, and, and I had hurt my ankle a couple days before, so I was limping on my ankle. It was, it was hurt. I'd sprained my ankle. And, and uh, so we're starting to unload the truck, and this is all canned good, so it's heavy stuff. And so, so we start to unload the truck, and, and, and I grabbed like two boxes at a time, and all of my back just snapped. 
And he just hear everybody could hear it. I mean, me, I could hear it. He could hear it, and I hurt my back. I mean, so so immediately I thought I should. I, I'm at least I'm going to get to go in the cab and lay down in the cab. And then he said that. He said, "You you need to go lay down in the cab." And then it rose up in me. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. Amen. So I said, no, I am healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. And he looked at me like I was crazy. Yeah. Here's this reprobate guy. And I'm saying, I am healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna... And so, so he just was kind of quiet for a second. I, gra I, grabbed, I kept grabbing boxes. And it hurt so bad every time I grabbed a box. Just pain shot through my whole body. And I moved that box. And I just kept, every time I grabbed a box, I said, I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Every time I picked up a box, I did that. Within a few minutes, after a few boxes, the power of God just hit me. And I was totally healed. My back, even my ankle was totally healed by the power of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And he got to see that. And I, and I helped unload the rest of the truck. The next day, we were driving, I think we were driving the next day through Arizona. And I looked over. He was in the passenger seat. I looked over, and tears were running down his face. I hadn't talked to him about Jesus or anything. And tears were running down his face. And I said, are you okay? He said, yes, I want to receive Jesus. Can you lead me to the Lord? And I led him to the Lord right there. And I tell you, that man instantly changed. He instantly changed. He, instead of being, instead of being a reprobate, he became a child of God. By the time we got to California, he was asking me to baptize him somewhere. <laughs> and I was with, out with him for two weeks. And I'm telling you, that man was a totally different, changed person. Because he was now, he started out a sinner, but now he was a saint in the seat beside me. Now, so I dropped him off as a man that was born again, that saved by the power of God. Delivered by the power of God. A new person. Hallelujah. That's why it's so important just to be led by the Spirit of God in everything we say, everything we do. And that's why it's important to receive what God's done for us. Because if we'll be bold to receive what Christ has done for us, then everybody around us will see the power of God in our lives. Amen. Now what will we get? That's my message. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul, thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me this great salvation, so rich and so free. Now, if somebody had something they could sell you to give you eternal life, you'd pay anything for it, right? Yeah. But Jesus did this for us free. Yes, he did. We've got a free gift. Now people say, well, I've got to give up all this old stuff. You give it up to receive eternal life. Amen. Right? I mean, you lay down the old junk that's junk in your life. Yes. You may love that old junk, but that's the junk that will send you to hell. Amen. Embrace what Christ has done for you. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Praise you, Father. That's my message. Oh, <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Anybody here need to Praise make God. Jesus Lord of your life today or need, need to repent? Yes, Lord. You need to turn away from some Lord. things in your life? Glory. Anybody here? Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. We, had, we, had, we, had, we, had, we were in a big, big state in auditorium. There were 16, 1,600 people, ministers, that signed up for that, for that meeting. I mean, the place was packed. It was amazing wow. how many people were in there. But last night, we had to... We had to set up, but we had got there about 15 minutes early, but the place was filling up so much, we had to set up in the nosebleed seats. <laughs> yeah, we did. I mean, we had set up, and, and there was people still looking for seats. I mean, wow. we were lucky we got there early. Because wow. 15 minutes after, I mean, it was so filled, they couldn't find a seat in the whole house. Oh, wow. But I mean, it was like, it was great, Praise great God. service. Yes. Praise your Father. Thank you. The only problem was, they had services had started at 7. But they ran until like 10 or 10.30. And they had after parties after every service. <laughs> nice service. I'm kind of getting kind of up there, you know. I'm not old, but I'm kind of getting up there where I like to go to bed, you know. But <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm like, 
I was tired. I mean, they start meetings like at 9 o'clock in the morning, and here, here it's 10.30 at night, you know. They had breaks for meals and stuff, but anyhow. So like the last night, we used to stick around to visit with some people, but but uh, it's, 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 it was good, though. God's good. Hallelujah. Anybody here need a touch in your body? Hallelujah. Praise your Father. Yes. I can come back. Thank you, Jesus. I can come back. She can come up. She wants to come up. Yeah, you can come up. All right. No problem. She can come up. I praise the Lord for right. walking walk. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. You're walking a lot better. I'm supposed to have some tests, some hard tests. Yeah. Monday and Tuesday.